2009 bump app. Meet iOS 17 name drop. iOS 17 name drop. I think you already know the Bump app. Does anyone remember an app around 14 years ago called Bump? It's an awful lot like Name Drop on iOS. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. With iOS 17.1, Apple introduced a feature called Name Drop. When your iPhone comes close to another iPhone, you can exchange contact info via name drop. Way back in 2009, there was an app called Bump that let users transfer contact info, photos, and files just by bumping their phones together. Sound familiar? Let's talk about name drop and how to use it. We'll also look at how to configure your contact if you'd like to use this feature. But before we get started, please take a moment to like this video if you found it useful, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss new how-tos and reviews. All right, so this Bump app. I think it's interesting that this idea was first introduced back in 2009. The app was very popular for about five years until Google acquired it and it was shut down in 2014. Now Apple has introduced NameDrop with iOS 17.1. While it's not the exact same thing as Bump, it is similar. I'll show you how to configure your contact card in iOS and how name drop works. Okay, let's see name drop in action. We're gonna move a phone close to this one and see how name drop happens. Took a sec there. And there it is. Uh, you can share and receive your contacts just by bringing two phones close together. Let's look at how you can con configure your contact card in iOS. All right, let's look at the options for setting up your contact card. So in uh, iOS, you've got the contacts app. I'm going to jump in there. And at the very top, you should have your name and card and it would say my card um, underneath that. So let's jump in there. And here is my contact card that looks like um, what you saw earlier in the, in the demo that I showed you of name drop working. And from here, you have a lot of different options. You can choose how the contact photo and poster shows. So right now it's going to contacts only. And you can edit the information that's going to be shared when you do a name drop. If I go back and I want to edit this, so maybe I don't want to use the Memoji. I can edit and then I can edit my contact and if I choose edit there you have the ability to customize and choose which one you've got so this one's just got my regular picture and then this one's the one that I'm using with my Memoji so if I customize I can choose the poster and I could choose a different color from here different background color I can go and do a depth effect, um, either on or off. I can choose the uh, type of memoji that's used. I can choose that and I can customize all of that there as well. Um, and then if I go to the next one and let's customize this one, let's customize the poster. So I can swipe between different styles here, uh, much like you can just with a regular picture. You can turn on or off depth effect or extended poster and then you can choose a different picture if you'd like there and you can choose how your name shows so we'll cancel out of that go back here and this is one I'm going to use uh, and then you can put all your contact info that you're going to exchange uh, below in the picture okay that's the name drop feature in iOS and how to create a unique and fun contact card that you can use with name drop let me know what you think in the comments below do you remember the bump app did you ever use it I tried it for a little while, but I never really used it a lot. What about contacts in general? I actually find I don't save as many contacts in my phone as I used to. What about you guys? Drop a note below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Thanks again for watching and we'll talk to you soon.